Alright, we got... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 I'm not ready for Legends yet. You can't do this to me. You can't start throwing out Articunos like this. Episode number 34 of the Pokemon Crystal Kazo Nuzlocke. Be sure to leave a like down below if you're enjoying the video. Subscribe to some more Pokemon Crystal Kazo content. And be sure to check out the playlist in the description down below if you'd like to see any previous episodes of the Pokemon Crystal Kazo Nuzlocke. Last episode, uh, we got detoured a little bit and we did manage to beat all of the gym trainers in Price's Gym. So the only thing that's left in Price's Gym is price himself. So, uh, here's the team and all their moves. You guys got to see a fair bit of everyone last episode, except for, well, the cargo. But it's kind of hard using Macargo, to be honest. Like, even a level 87 Macargo? Yeah, it's kind of difficult. And they, and the gym traders really didn't have any, like, pure ice types or anything like that. No, like, jinxes or I wouldn't want to see a. I wouldn't use it against Palace Wine, but no Palace Wines or anything like that, so. It's. It's kind of a mixed bag, as, you know, these Kazos have been in terms of, like, what Pokemon trainers have. Um, so yeah. But. I'm trying to think of how I want to go at Price. Maybe I will use this Macargo. But it's, like, so slow. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. Hope I don't get set up on. I'm gonna use it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'll probably get blown back, but whatever. I'm pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty nervous. Let's see how it goes. I think you should max out, like, what? Level 77? Sound right? I think so. I think so. Well, let's see how this goes, so let's take them on. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been sent with Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Okay. Let's see that power you got, Price. I'm mean, it's looking hella old. You have a Jinx. Oh, well, good thing I picked my cargo first. You know what, though? You know what? You know what's gonna happen, though? Watch. I'm gonna hit Protect, right? Watch what this Jinx does. I already know what it's gonna do. Just watch. Just watch. Watch. Oh, we went for Psychic. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, that's not what I was expecting. That's what I was expecting. Lovely kiss, but you missed. Because you suck. <laughs> Yo, I should have toxic solved this thing, but fuck, I'd rather just get rid of it. <laughs> hey, look at that. I got a crit. That probably matters because this is a fucking Macargo. <laughs> well, shit. Macargo is uh, starting out well. That's cool. You have a, te a tentacle? That's a bit random. Okay. Yeah, I guess I was kind of expecting random, but not that random. Fuck. I don't really have anything for this tentacle, man. Alakazam would probably not do too well against it, because... Tentacruel has a really good special defense stat. I mean, it's not like this thing gets a physical move, so maybe I should have gone to Alakazam. Oh, fuck. You're doing a bit of damage there, bruh. You're doing a bit of damage. 
quite a bit of damage there. I don't like that. Oh, well, we want... Damn, we're getting the crits in this episode. Okay. Yeah, please keep giving me crits. Please. I will gladly take these. There we go. That's what we're looking for. The pile of swine. Okay, so... Uh, we're definitely going to Polyrath, because... This thing will have Rock Slide, and this thing will have Earthquake. Why does that Pile of Swine look the same? <laughs> it looks the exact same. Pile of Swine is green. I know this, because I... I had the Omega Ruby Shiny Lock. So Shiny Pile of Swine is like... Like a lightish green? Sort of? It's not... This. So at some point, they must have changed Pile of Swine's Shiny. Yeah, I would not, I would not be that hyped for a freaking Palace wine if it looked like that. A shiny Palace wine. <laughs> I would not be that hyped. Alright, we got... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not ready for Legends yet. You can't do this to me. You can't start throwing out Articunos like this. No, you can't do this, man. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to fight this thing. Can we just, like, can we just, like, can we just, like, can you just, like, I don't know, send out, like, a freaking, like, a, like a lap, well, maybe not lappers, like a, um, give me an ice type, give me an ice type. Send out a Sneasel, send out a Sneasel, and we'll be good, we'll be good, we'll be good. Maybe it's, like, a Sneasel, a nickname, Articuno, you know, like, like, Wi-Fi battlers like to do. Maybe that's it. Maybe this is a maybe this is a Sneasel coming out, and it's nicknamed Articuno. Maybe that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the Macargo and hope for the best. It's a nice shiny. It is a nice shiny. It's a very nice shiny. I mean, it's a be it's better it's a better color difference in this game than in uh in like later gens. It's a little more noticeable in Gen 2. She's gonna go for the rock slide. It's going for ice cream. Oh my god, this thing's gonna be nuts. Oh god. Thank. Well, it's a good thing I got ice heals. Can't say I didn't see, like, I knew I was gonna get frozen one time in this gym. At least once. So. I didn't get frozen that time. I'm gonna say, thank God that Rayquaza is not in this fucking gen. Because we all know Claire would have that fucking Rayquaza on her team. Before I even get to the Pokemon League, she'll have the goddamn Rayquaza on her team. Okay, Makargo, if you do not one-shot this Articuno, you fucking suck. Okay, thank you. Cause I mean it is it is an Articuno, but like it's four times weak. Like you gotta, you're like ten levels higher in it too, so you gotta take it out. Um, Quagsire is kind of a problem. Um, I'm gonna go into you. Quagsire is really really bad matchup for me. Really bad. Although if I had um if I had the Gloom that I caught from last episode, then this might be a little better because I would have a Bob Plume. Or maybe I have a Blossom. I have to think about that one. Um, and I'd be able to just one-shot this thing, but... I'm gonna try to put it to sleep. I'm gonna try to put it to sleep. And I actually end up doing that. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let me see Polyrath's uh, stats real quick. Let me see his Polyrath's stats. I'm not really familiar with it. Special attack isn't that much worse than physical. I'm just trying to decide if I should go for the Surf here. I think I should. Water Absorb is not in this gen. In fact, there are no abilities in this gen, so I am safe to do that. I am safe to do that. Not quite a Tuco. I was hoping it would be a Tuco, but it's not a Tuco. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. What the fuck were you gonna go for that made you go first? Do you have Protect? Are you a fucking Toxic Protect bitch? I feel like you are. Who fucking does that, man? Who plays Pokemon like that? 
People who are dicks. That's who. That's that's who. Okay, here we go. We got the Lapras. Okay, here's the Lapras. Um. Shit. I think I'm just gonna stick with this Polyrath. I'm really scared of this thing because Lapras gets access to Thunder. I'd rather not deal with that. I guess Thunder and Thunderbolt. Okay. I missed the Dynamic Punch. Okay, this is, this is a problem. Just go back to sleep. <laughs> back to sleep you go. <laughs> Nothing to see here, just go back to sleep. <laughs> Alright, please, thank you! Okay, we got the Dynamic Punch off. Good, beautiful, beautiful. Let's just take this thing out, please, Polyrath, please. Hey, there we go. Awesome. That is awesome. Oh man. So we're gonna be throwing they're gonna be throwing legendaries at us now. I'm impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Not bad. Receive the glacier badge. Awesome. That badge will raise the special stats of Pokemon. It also lets you use lets your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpool. As opposed to fake Whirlpools. And this, this is a gift for me. TM16, which is actually Icy Wind. It inflicts damage and lowers speed. It demonstrates the harshness of winter. The harshness of winter. Wow what terminology that was. I if you were if you were to give me TM Blizzard, I would believe that statement, but you gave me fucking Icy Wind. Like, why use Icy Wind if I have Ice Beam? <laughs> Just because I want to lower its speed stat? Bro, that's what paralysis is for. That's this game full knows full and well that's what paralysis is for, is to slow Pokemon down and just be fucking annoying with it. Okay, so we're gonna head to the World Islands. Because we need to do that. Now uh, fuck, we gotta get to the World Islands, which means we have to do this bullshit again. Um I do need Charizard. I'm looking for somebody to deposit real quick. Let's just put the Macargo in there. <laughs> just put the Macargo in the PC. Please. Okay, you can get Whirlpool. Good. I was looking for something to get Whirlpool. I, was, I did not want to teach Gyarados Whirlpool because that would have sucked. So we're good. Ooh, I need a... I have a few... I have a few decent ones in the PC that I wouldn't mind. That would not mind grinding, but... We'll have to see. Um... So, I'm trying to teach... Kingler... Whirlpool. And he learns it right away. Okay, I, uh, I'm not complaining about that at all. Absolutely not complaining about that. Okay, um, I'm gonna need to throw up some repels because because we don't want to explode and pull a fish. So I'm literally just going to go to the World Islands and then I'm going to just fly out and then we'll go to the uh, lighthouse. We'll see how that goes. The lighthouse is next, because we gotta take on Jasmine. It's really weird that I was kind of forced to do Price first, because traditionally you'd go Chuck, Jasmine, and then Price. Because just by location, it makes sense. But... Crystal, Crystal Kaizo... Kaizos in general, just like a, they just like to do their own things, so... Whatever. Um... So my thing is, can I go? Oh, that's a shortcut. Okay, so I can't go that way. I need to figure out how to get to the World Islands. Because I want to get the World Island encounter. Alright. So, we're literally just going to the World Islands for an encounter. We're going to explore the World Islands, and we have to come back here because... Could I get Lugia before I go to Kanto? 
Oh, that's convenient. That's very convenient, actually. Oh, this looks like shit, first of all. Um... So, I'm trying to decide who to put first. I guess I'll stick with... Well, no, I'll go with Polyrath. Polyrath's kind of... Polyrath kind of helps with catching Pokemon. Alright, so... Let's go ahead, and we'll see what our first encounter here is on the World Islands. Our first encounter is going to be a... Hunter! Oh, yes! This is a ghost type I've been asking for! Don't you fucking dare fuck with me, Haunter! Don't you dare fuck with me! Okay, this is the ghost type I've been asking for. What could I use against it? Because I don't want to take it out. I'm going to try Typhlosion. Go for a Flame Wheel. No, I don't know. Okay, it's asleep. Um... I'm just going to go for it. Out. I don't know what else I could have done. This is literally the weak weakest move I have. Okay. Okay. We're gonna throw. We're gonna throw a great ball. Come on, please look at this. Please, 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 please. Yes! Oh, it's such a great encounter. Oh, that's such an awesome encounter. This is an amazing encounter. It hides in the dark, planning to take the life of the next living thing that wanders close by. Ugh. Well, this is why I always call my, uh, my Gengars. So, Haunter should be able to evolve at level... What level did my Alakazam evolve at? I think it was 55, right? So, Gengar should be the same level. Right? And then Machoke and Graveler as well, but... Um, I'm gonna put Typhlosion in the front. I'm so happy I have that Haunter now, dude. You have no idea. Maybe you do have an idea of how much of a lifesaver that is. But you... I mean... If you haven't been watching this series to this point, you have no I mean, if you haven't been watching much of this series, you have no idea how much of a lifesaver that fucking Haunter is. Because now, it's not to say that I don't, I should stop worrying about Explosion altogether. Obviously I need Haunter out when Explosion goes off, but it's, a, it's so much less of a problem now. Let me get this item real quick. And of course we find a dude going. I'm just seeing what's in here. Ultra Ball. Okay, that's very helpful. I want to see what's in the water, too. I'm curious. I, mostly, I'm looking because I want to see if I can get a Seedra. I'm thinking that's what it's going to be. Do I not get a Pokemon here? What the fuck? I really don't get a Pokemon. Okay. Well, what about... Oh, this is outside. This is the World Islands, right? Yeah, okay. I had to make sure. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't show me that face. Please don't show me that face ever again. I hate that stupid Pokemon with a burning passion now. With a burning passion. This game really, really has forced me to hate on Quillfish, dude. I hate that stupid thing. Okay. I really want to check this Haunter out. This is... This, I think... It's the best catch that I've gotten. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna say catches, I'm not gonna say gift Pokemon, because then I can say like Abra and Shiny Charmander were good too. But this is probably the best catch I've gotten since maybe Flaffy. Or Marie. Or the Marie. Because I can't think of a Pokemon that is as good and that wasn't a gift Pokemon. Because, let's be honest, most of the encounters have been utter trash. Let, let's be honest here. Like, I'm literally gonna look at my PC right now and be like, okay. Like, I I, I, I just don't think there is... I guess... Nah, nah, I don't know if I would count Gyarados. Gyarados is better than Gengar, I guess, but... 
Like, you kind of get handed the Gyarados. Like, if we're being honest, you get... You kind of get handed that. Okay, Croconaw, because Froligator actually did carry it for a little bit. So I'll say, I'll say this is the best encounter since Croconaw. Yeah, I'll say that. I'll say that. Okay. Well, let's check out this Haunter. There's one move that I think this Haunter has, and let's see if it has it. There it is, right there. Explosion. Yep. It definitely had Explosion. Okay, I'm not gonna add this yet. I'm not gonna add this yet, but I'm definitely getting rid of Explosion. Definitely getting rid of Explosion. I knew that fucker had it. I knew it, because Gengar does get Explosion, so... I knew that Haunter would have Explosion. It's not the craziest thing to say, but... Okay, that's great. I don't really care about your Weedle. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't. Okay, so... Now, we can go to the Lighthouse. Maybe we can start kicking ass in there. Um... We'll just stick with... I don't know. We'll stick with, uh... We'll stick with Ursa Ring for now. We'll stick with Ursa Ring. And we'll go ahead and, uh... Get up here! Alright, that's great. Thanks, bro. I'm not gonna put a repel up. Okay, I have a type of in the front. I I don't need to put repels up. Even if they're cool fish in the water, I don't think an explosion would take out the type of If I'm being honest, I don't think it would. Oh fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna teach. I'm just gonna teach it whirlpool. I'm just gonna do it because. Ah, shit. I don't know. I'm just gonna do it. Fuck it. I'll just teach you Whirlpool. I'm gonna get rid of... I don't want to get rid of Body Slam. You know what? I just don't want to teach this thing Whirlpool. Because I don't... want to get rid of any of these moves. I'm just gonna get rid of Dynamic Punch. It served its use. It served its use. I got through Price. I don't think I'm gonna be needing this holy world as a fighting type anymore. I hope that's not a mistake I just made, but I really need to get past this. I don't want to go back and get the Kingler. I'm just gonna move on. We're here at the lighthouse. But our Corsola's here. I think that's the first time I've seen a Corsola in this game. Alright, well, let's go ahead and uh, head in here. Alright, so I'm a little scared of this area because there are a lot of trainers in the lighthouse. There are a lot of trainers in the lighthouse. Awful lot of trainers. I'm not really a fan of them. Hmm, this is no place for playing. Says you. Says you, with one Pokemon. This is kind of a problem. Um, hmm. Huh. I think I'm gonna go into Polyrath. I'm gonna go into Polyrath. I think this thing will go for Earthquake. Oh, for oh, perfect. We're both females, so <laughs> sucks to be you. Oh, come on. Let me put it to sleep. Okay, I'm just gonna go in then. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that bullshit. I'm just gonna go in. <laughs> Fuck that bullshit. I'm not playing games with this scramble. I'm not playing games. Okay, go for your return. You're not gonna do much. Polyrath's bulky enough. You can swallow this, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good. Let's go for that surf. Let's go for the surf. Take it out. Take it out. Good shit! Okay. Chill. We beat Alfred! Nice. Oh, I can see that you're serious. That I am, sir. That I am. That 
that. I am. You know what? This is a sailor dude. I'm gonna put Ursa in the front. We might have fighting types. I'm gonna put Alexander in the front. I'm gonna put Alexander in the front. See if he has. Show me a fighting type, bro. Show me a fighting type. I dare you. Show me a fighting type. I dare you to send out a fighting type on me. Or Gyarados. That works too. Gyarados works too. Men of the Sea are always spoiling for a good fight. Spoiling, huh? They're spoiling. Does that mean they get in a lot of fights? Poira. Huh. Honestly, the worst this can do is Body Slam. I'm gonna hit Psybeam. I'm gonna hit Psybeam. Hit that side beam. Good shit. Good shit, Alakazam. I can always count on you to one shot things like that. Not all the time, not all the time. I can't get cocky, but I can count on you to do it in that instance. Raichu, I'm gonna go into Earth Ring. Because Earth Ring is the only thing <laughs> on my team that's not. Well, it's not the only thing, but. It's the best. It's the best matchup for this Raichu. It's the best matchup for the Raichu. And it's going for Seismic Toss. That's the only fighting move you have, apparently. Is it just me, or are there like a ton of Raichus in this Kaizo? Like, there's a lot, right? Like, what's what's up with that? Raichu's not that difficult to take down. I guess it's an electric type, it gets access to Thunder Wave, so it's kind of annoying, but I've been one-shotting like nearly every single Raichu I've seen from ever since like the beginning of this Nuzlocke. Like from the very first Raichu I saw in this Nuzlocke, I've been like okoing every single one, so I'm just not worried about it. It's kind of like pointless to me. Kinda of pointless to have a Raichu like that. Oh fuck! I'm... I wanted to stop and see who it was and then switch. Why are you here? Are you just going to gawk? I suggest that you leave. Gawk. Okay. Oh god. What are you gonna have? A knocked out? We're good. We're good. Good. Actually, I might switch because Knockdown might be might do a little bit of damage to me. I'm also gonna go into Macargo here. Knockdown has a pretty good special defense stat, so I was thinking, well, I don't think that was worth the risk there. I don't want to lose an Alakazam to a Knockdown of all things, so I didn't feel like I didn't feel like taking the gamble there. I did not feel like taking the gamble. I am definitely toxicating, toxicating your ass. And I'm gonna go for the rock slide. Oh, I thought. Okay, I thought you were actually gonna go for the full restore. That's why I did not hit protect. I know people were expecting me to hit protect. That's why I did not hit it, because I was expecting the full restore, but he didn't get it. He's not gonna use it, I guess. I was trying to I was trying to play him a little bit, but I played myself. Rip. <laughs> yeah, bro. Just go ahead and go for the nice shade. See if I care. Alright, let's go for the uh, rock slide as you missed your hypnosis. As you missed the hypnosis. Good shit. Good shit. Alright, so next up we got a Golduck. I guess that is a bird Pokemon. Not really. It's a duck. <laughs> it doesn't... Well, duck... Wait. I'm stupid. Ducks do fly, but, like... Golducks don't fly. <laughs> Golduck in particular doesn't fly. Ducks do fly, but... Golduck is not a duck that could fly. So... Oh, beautiful. Thank you for that. Thank you for not going for hypnosis either, because I did not want to, I don't I don't want to suffer through that bullshit I had to suffer through last episode. Okay, well, 
We had this matchup before and Earthstring won, so I don't remember if I one-shot it though. Did I? Okay, I guess I did. Sweet. Or was I using I was using Polyrap, wasn't I? Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. Oh fuck off with this Firo. <laughs> like actually fuck off with this thing. You're not gonna send out a Firo on me like this, bruh. Fuck off with this thing. Get this ugly piece of shit off the screen, please. Please get it off the screen. Please get this thing off the screen. ASAP. ASAP. Yeah, fuck out of here with that. Alright, let's. I'm waiting for this dude to send out a legendary bird. Oh, you have a Murkrow. Uh, Murkrow was not a problem, but I can't leave Alexam out on it. So I'm gonna go into Charizard. So you got a Murkrow. I got my fire breathing Charizard here. And I need to fix that so I can go for the flamethrower. I don't think I'll take it out, but I'll be pretty darn close. Only because it's not super effective. Or maybe I do take it out. Okay, never mind. Oh, it was a crit. I didn't, I didn't think Murkrow was that frail. I didn't think it was that frail. And plus, like anything that's like level 74 at this point is gonna live a non-super effective hit, so. You know. We're going to Alexam on this Pidgeot. Because I don't think this Pidgeot will survive a Thunder Punch. I'd be very, very surprised. I'd be very, very surprised. I'd be very, very surprised if it did. But, should be able to one-shot this. Beautiful. Beautiful. I was really expecting the Legendary Bird, because I saw the Articuno from Price. I was kind of expecting you to have like a random Zapdos or something. But I guess you don't have one. Okay, well, I think with that, I am actually gonna go ahead and well, let me get out of here first, because I like to I like to end episodes when I'm outside the building. And I figure I'm close enough to where, like, I'm outside of a building, so I figured I may as well walk down there and end it here. Uh, I like to thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. In the next episode, we will continue to venture through the lighthouse. And I really doubt we're gonna take on Jasmine in the next episode, but Maybe the episode afterwards, we will take on Jasmine. So, I will see you guys then. Keep living the dream. Goodbye.